Hello everyone, Trigon here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Don't forget, if you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So as you can see, uh, motor cars have become the norm now. So uh, I got rid of our horse-drawn carriages for the Redstone uh, uh, the public transit line and put these guys on here. So we've got our first little buses running around. Um, everything here in uh, Mega, the Mega City seems to be working out fine. In fact, it looks like it's been growing. <laughs> this island is just going to be covered with city. Um, uh, we don't have much in the way of traffic jams. It is a little bit heavy, but nowhere near what it was before. Uh, except possibly right here. Why is it so clogged up in this one spot? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody's putting out a lot of smoke. Oh, that's these guys. Still running steam trucks because the new trucks haven't come out yet. Um, we're producing plenty of refined oil just from the one uh, oil source. Oh, we're finally getting caught up. Finally getting caught up. We were way behind. We had just tons and tons of oil and, and uh, not enough ships to move. So I doubled the number of ships on there. And of course, we got plenty of oil here. We could increase uh, the output on that too. And we could increase the output on this one here, too. But I think I'm going to leave it. Uh, at least this way we know that it's constantly going to be full. We're using about 80% from each of these, I think. Yeah, between 70 and 80%. Um, so I think what I want to do is work on getting some of these other resources going. Now, we could get some more food going. That's one possibility. Um... And I think if I were going to do that, probably what I would do would be to put in a train going across here to do that. But I think we're going to hold off on that, too. I think what I want to do next is get these sawmills running. And I want to get the steel mills running. And that way, we can work on getting machines going next. So let's go ahead and um, look at this. we got... Wood here, wood here, wood up here, and wood up here. And an oil clear over there, which I don't worry, I'm not worried about right now. Um, let's go ahead and go with this for right now. I'm feeling I'm going to have to redo a lot of this, but... For right now, let's go ahead and grab this, this, we're going to make this a 320, and let's get this lined up with the road here. There, looks good. Okay, we'll put that right there. Uh, let's see. Can I? Don't think that was very well placed. Let's try it again. That looks better. Yeah, we're hitting both of them really well. Um, actually, I'm going to redo this. I should have done the road first. There. That's a bit messy, but whatever. Take that out for right now. All right, now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to hit these guys on the outside. So let's put a station right here. On this side of this, can I... I would really like it to be at the same level as that road. Okay, let's put it here. How's that? Okay. And... I suspect we're going to need to do more than one... Let's do the road on this first. I suspect we're going to need to do more than one train on this route. So... I'm going to set this up for double track. 
That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. Okay. That looks good. All right, let's... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this this way. You know, if these are just going to be through tracks, if we're not going to be using them, we're not going to be expanding this at all. Let's just do this the easy way. Uh, and we'll run to there. Because it sort of breaks the station doing it like this. We can't... We can't add anything more to the station if we do this, but it makes it a lot easier to run the through tracks. Okay. So that's our through tracks for that. And then we will run this all the way to here. Okay, except for this bit here. Looks good. Now we'll run our second track. So like I said, I'm pretty sure we're going to need to run two trains on this. That looks good. Perfect. And now we will go ahead and grab this off from here and come around to here. How's that look? That looks pretty good. I don't think we have to do anything fancy with that. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab this. Ooh, did I do the right one? Yes, I did, okay. There. And now here I will just grab this here that. Grab this here. And do that. Um, I probably didn't need to do that. <laughs> uh, actually, I did this screwy. I did this all wrong. Oh, God. <laughs> Crap. I did this all wrong. I didn't want to do this this way. Um, yeah, I sort of forgot what I was doing when I did this. All right. Let's redo this. All right. We cleaned up that mess. Let's do this right. Two tracks. Because if we're going to have two trains running here, we're going to want them having, going to want to have them picking up uh, on the way back. So we want this outside platform. So that was my mistake. I forgot I was going to want to use the outside platform. I mean, I suppose I could have had the tracks going the other way, but I don't want to just have one track out of the blue where trains are traveling on the left side instead of on the right. Because that would inevitably mean I would screw something up somewhere. You mean like you didn't do just now? That's right. I didn't screw anything up. Growler's got video evidence. You, you better just keep your evidence to yourself. Now we got some new passenger uh, cars. Nice. All right. So now, it can travel on all the way to here, pick up wood, pick up wood, deliver wood. And hopefully, that will all work out properly. We have a signal. Oh, what's this? U.S. semaphore signal. Well, we will use it. And this is going to be a one-way. It's going to sit right there. Then this is not going to be a one-way. It's going to be opposite side and then I'm going to delete it come on oh for God's sakes there we go oh cool yeah I've seen those 
Okay. Yeah, okay, there's one signal. <laughs> that probably wasn't worth all of the effort of doing it. Alright. There we go, our one signal. And let's go ahead and we'll put our one way here. Can we? There we go. Finally. And we'll do that. And that. And that should be good. We shouldn't need to do anything else there. So let's go ahead and we'll just get... Uh, oh, we're gonna need a... We're gonna need a shed here. Um... Let's put it down here. Uh, where am I going to put this where I can use it on both? That's what I really want. Let's put it right about here. Then hopefully I'll be able to run tracks for both this way. Nope, that's not going to work. There we go. There. And we'll make that double slip so trains can get back into there. And that looks messy, but I don't care at the moment. <laughs> okay, so... I think right here what I'm going to do... Come on. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I just want to get this the right. There we go. No. There. Now we can grab this. Change it to curved. Still looks awful. Excuse me. And we'll just run this right down to here. That looks pretty awful, but I don't care. <laughs> right down to there and then we can just curve it into that one okay so we got a bridge going over that that will uh, keep the traffic on that road from interfering with the train not that it would have anyways there might be traffic on this road at some point, Growler. You don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and just do our thing here. Alright, so we're going to go from here to here to here. And this one we're going to be filling up all the way. And this will be the... Vir Virgil's Point... Lumber West Freight. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's go ahead and put an Atlantic on this. And we can go ahead and make this 320 because I think it'll be able to fill up. That's too much. There we go.
<clears throat> now, iron is going to be a lot more challenging than uh, than this is. You going to come out? There you go. Um, in fact, we will not be able to get all of uh, the steel mills. I should say, steel is going to be a lot more challenging. We're not going to be able to get all of the steel mills going today. Uh, let's see here. I think our best bet is going to be get this iron and this coal. And then later on we can get this coal, this iron, and this iron. So let's do this here. So let's see, can I... Uh, I was hoping I could get it where I could reach all three of these. I'm going to try something here. Yeah, if I go right into the back of this, I can do it. What if I do a road on this side of this? Get that road. We'll connect these parts. That's good. Now, where's the other? Oh, there's the stone quarry right there. I knew there was a stone quarry out there somewhere. Now, where do we have to place this so it reaches all of them? There we go. Yeah, I think that'll work. So we'll use this. Uh, no, I'm probably, probably going to want more platforms on here. But eventually, that'll be fine. But it reaches all three of these, which means we can use this same station for all our coal, iron, and for this stone here, too. Which I might actually just run a little short truck route right through the mountain and just use one rail station right there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we get to that. Now, let's figure out how we're going to do this. I think we're going to do it by getting rid of all of this first off. Okay. Run this across here. Reconnect that. And now we just need one station here. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> there. I think we need to do anything fancy. Is that going to be angled good yeah that angle works I'd actually like it a little bit better if it was aimed a little bit more like that let's do that I'll put a little road stub to connect it perfect This road can just come over. No, don't need a tunnel there. I don't know why you think you need a tunnel there, but you don't. Oh, that's right, because I did goofy things with the land here. Yeah, you did. It's fixed now, Growler. Alright, now, let's see here. Let's bring this to about there. Crosses that road fine, nice and smooth. We get a bridge right there, which I don't like. Bridge right here, which I don't like. But 
But otherwise, that's a nice, long, straight road. Well, not... or straight track. I think it'd be better if I went this way more. That seems pretty straight. Okay. And then we will swing around here and come in to this. We are not going to... Too much slope? You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Okay. Well, this is going to be challenging. Let's do this. Well, that really digs into it digs into the mountainside a lot. Probably don't want to do that. Up to there. Yeah, that'll work. I just I don't want a tunnel this whole distance. And then we will come around with this one. That that's gonna be our coal there. Then we can smooth this all down some. I think we're going to have to do this. Alright. That looks better. And that's where we'll enter the mountain there. But, we're probably going to have to, we're going to have to cut this back. We're probably also going to have to, uh, cut that road back. Alright, now, let's grab this side of it. This is going to be the, the iron. Probably could have left the road there. Okay. Wow, that's still that is so steep. It's a good thing they're going to be empty hauling back up the the way here. Holy crap! bit of a janky curve there, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's underground anyways. Um, do I want to make that a... I think I'll make that a cut going up to here. And then let's see, we can... Smooth this out some then. Okay. And then we could probably just bring our coal in, have it come along and like meet into the track right here somewhere, and then go on down. And these guys can just kind of reconnect. Because they're going to be on the surface above it. Never noticed a white one before, a white tunnel entrance. Alright, so now let's look at this. And what if we did this over here? Would 
that work? Why are we connecting to the further one? <laughs> Not to the nearer one. That was the wrong button. Alright, gonna have to re... Hello? <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong things here, definitely. Okay. We're gonna get rid of all of this. We're gonna have to be closer to this one in order to reach it, so... Let's see here. Let's try first off... Curving a road down here. And then... What happens if we try to... Try to butt a station right to here. I want you to run right along there. It, it, me, it meets. That's good. That's what we wanted. We can reconnect those roads. That works. And then we can reconnect this road. down. Actually, let's just see how far down we can bring this. Ooh, found a spot where it actually even works. And that keeps its speed all the way. That's really perfect. Okay. So we keep that. Then we're going to come down to about there. I know I hate doing the tunnel connection in the or the rail connection in the tunnel like that because it's so easy to miss them but uh, if you try to do long ones through long tunnels like that it just never seems to go right all right so that looks good um I don't think not usually no hush I think we're going to be better off putting our sheds at this end have one shed for each one of these so we'll go ahead and put a shed in right here I suppose we should flatten this out better put the shed facing the right direction right along the track here then we can connect it in perfect and smooth things out looks good and then we'll do the same thing over here right in along the track. Come on. There. And then we can just smooth this back out. Now, I can just get one train going to get this started. We probably won't have enough demand for iron and coal yet to, uh, uh, to use more than one train later on we'll probably need to have additional trains on these routes and then I'll have to double up these tracks but for now this is perfect let's go ahead and get this started and this will be uh, 
Let's make this fork iron west freight. And then this one will be fork coal west freight. And then we'll have north and then that'll be south. So, uh, I think that's all we've got. Okay. Let's just get some trains on here and then we are good to go for now. Put Atlantic on again. And we don't have enough money. We spent so much money building it, we don't have enough money to, to uh, do anything with it. Um, I can borrow more. Uh, I don't think I want to yet. All right. Uh, I, will, I will run this for a little while between episodes and earn enough money that we can put the trains on here. The next episode, we can get our steel delivery going. And then we can get the wood delivery going from here. And we'll get them all going over here to the machine shop. And then we will have machines to distribute too. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to tickle that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.